Hi there, so when you first turn on this machine, it comes up with a handy little message reminding you to do a warm-up before your main workout. So, I've created three different warm-ups that you may wish to follow depending on the intensity of the workout you have ahead. Now this first one is four minutes long and it's the bare minimum warm-up I recommend and it's really intended to go into a main workout that's going to push you up through intensity rather than going really fast from the start. If you're going to be doing a really hard workout or maybe like a time trial, I do recommend looking at the 10 minute or the 20 minute warm-ups instead okay so these four minutes we're going to start off at 20 strokes a minute for the first two minutes and then we're going to go into some drill work for the next two minutes to make sure that our hips are nice and loose ready for the workout we have ahead we have to set up a machine and the first thing to look at is the resistance setting now, what I want you to do is to find a resistance setting here where you feel like you connect to the machine, but it's not too hard. Don't want it to be too easy either, but you don't want it to be really as though you're having to grab against the machine. Now, when I row like a 30 minute, 20 strokes a minute, low intensity piece, I'll set my resistance to 10. In the warm up, I set it to six. So that's a nice guide for where you might want to set your resistance. Of course, you can change it each time you come back and find your own sweet spot. And then the next thing we have to do is adjust the foot stretcher height if you haven't already. And if you haven't heard about this, then the good guide here is that you have the strap to cover the bottom lace on your shoe. Then you can adjust from that point, but it's a good starting position, all right? So we're going to start this four minute warm up with intensity that's kind of like you're standing up from a squat, okay? So I don't want you to push too hard with your legs. I don't want you to pull too hard with your arms. I just want you to get your body and the machine moving and then we can worry about increasing intensity a little bit in the second minute of main rowing, okay? Are you ready for this? I hope so. Let's get going in three, two, one, and we're off. So like I say, take it easy at first. This is a warm up. It's not a hit the ground running at a million miles an hour up. So just get your body kind of into those angles that you're aiming for. So it might take a few strokes if you've been sitting at your desk all day or something. But what you're looking for is to tilt in towards the front of the machine to round about a one o'clock lean as you're looking at me. And then at the back of the stroke, you want to come to an 11 o'clock lean or tilt. There's a difference. Tilt describes tilting over the hips. Lean could be actually rounding your back and things and we don't want to round our back. So you're rocking forwards and backwards over your hips in order to open them up and make sure the power transfers through your whole body. Right, so after this next stroke, I want you just to increase the push of your legs a little bit. What you're looking for, for the intensity to increase to, is kind of like you were slowly walking up a flight of stairs. So you'd find you're getting a little bit out of breath, your heart rate's starting to climb a little bit, but this by no way feels like it's hard work. And this is just gonna get your body kind of going, oh, are we working out today? All right, and it'll prepare itself, but you're not gonna be tiring yourself out at all for the workout to come. One good guide is, can you speak or sing while you're doing this warm up? If you think you can still speak or sing, then you're working it round about the same or the right intensity. Okay, one more stroke here. And let's take one foot out of the straps and put it on the ground and then continue rowing. Okay, so with the same rock forwards over your hips and the same rock forwards at the back, round about the same stroke rate, you still push out with the leg that's strapped in and finish with a handle against your chest. And this helps to open up your hips. One more stroke here. So up feet, don't worry if it takes a few seconds for you to strap in and out of the foot stretchers or the foot straps. A few strokes missed isn't gonna be the end of the world. This is just helping with the compression into the front because with only one leg strapped in at the front, it's a lot easier to get into that tilt over the hips and therefore open up your body a bit more. Okay, last stroke there. Put your other foot back in, 
strap it up and we're gonna roll with our back and arms. So legs straight, swing over your back, pull in your arms, then out with your arms and rock back forwards over your hips again. And this really should give you an idea of what I mean about the swing, the rock over your hips and picking up that power with your hips first before pulling in with your arms. Let's do one more here, out with the arms, rock forwards, and let's roll into the front of the machine. Keep the arms straight and just push out with the legs. So hold your forwards tilt and your arms straight, push out with the legs. And this is a fantastic drill for getting you used to powering out of the front with your legs and not using your arms. You don't use your arms until the back of the stroke, as we found out in the last drill. Let's take one more here as we hit four minutes. Ah, there we go. I like to finish with a flourish. And that's it. That's the four minute basic warm up done, which has hopefully got you at least opened up and ready for whatever workout you have planned next. Enjoy your next workout and I'll see you in another video.